Hello there, my Capricorns, and welcome to your August mid-month love reading with me, Miss Machiste. Capricorn, this is going to be a love reading for the second half of August. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe. I will be posting the last of August mid-months today, as well as the giveaway video later on tonight. So subscribe now so you are on top of that video being posted so you can enter to win. I will be choosing two lucky winners to win a spiritual box that you will see in the giveaway video, as well as a free reading. So Capricorn, thank you for being here. If you are not new to my channel, Welcome back. I appreciate your support so, so very much. Let's keep in mind we can check out our sun, moon, rising, or Venus because not all messages will resonate with every Capricorn out there. Also, Capricorn, keep in mind that the energy can be coming through vice versa. So if this is not you, this could absolutely be the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with this second half of August. So Capricorn, let's get into it. Spirit for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn Cross Watchers, you are most welcome on this channel as well. I am going to read it as is because this is Capricorn's reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's get into it. For my Capricorn Spirit, for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For my Capricorns in the second half of August in their love lives. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of August in their love lives. Okay, Capricorn, we have a return. We also have mute. And we also have new direction. All right, Capricorn. So it looks like to me that somebody is coming back into your life or somebody is coming into your life that possibly you already know and you kind of don't know that they are interested in you in, you in a romantic-like sense. For others of you Capricorns, this person is definitely um, somebody that you have dealt with already. I feel like Capricorn, if you've been very quiet with them, I feel like that's why they are going to be returning back. And vice versa, Capricorn, if you if they are being very quiet to you, you may be the one who wants to return back to them. But nonetheless, I feel like this... I feel like, Capricorn, this person wants to return back to you, but I feel like they don't know what to say. I feel like they want this relationship to go into a new direction, but... It's kind of, I'm going to move so you could see this card. Okay. It's kind of like they don't know exactly how to get to this new direction and how you two can come to some compromise for movement forward in a, you know, more brighter and better direction in love. Um, possibly some of you Capricorns um, may have somebody returning back to you and you're just plain old not interested here with this Mew card. Keep in mind, Capricorn, this could be coming through vice versa. You may be dealing with somebody that you want to be with and they are very standoffish towards you. I feel like there's a new direction coming no matter what. So the new direction is going to push you two into a brighter and better future. And we'll see how this turns out here. But there's definitely somebody that is trying to come back into your life here, Capricorn. And I feel like you may be closing them out or vice versa. You want to be back in somebody else's life and, life and they're really not giving you much. Because with mute here in the middle, it kind of is giving me the, the sense that neither of you are talking or that one of you is ignoring the other. So let's see here, Capricorn. This could be you being mute to your partner or your partner being very muted to you. But nonetheless, this no talking here or whomever's ignoring who is going to push this um, union in a new direction. So let's see what direction this goes in. Spirit, can you please give me some tarot for my Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for my Capricorns and their love lives for the second half of August. For my Capricorns in their love lives, the second half of August. For my Capricorns in their love lives, spirit for the second half of August.
Ooh, okay, Capricorn. What we got coming here? Oh, right. Your first card here is we have the Hierophant. We also have the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the King of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, I feel like there is a possibility here that you are already in a relationship with somebody else. And this may be why you are muting somebody's return. Um, if not Capricorn, I definitely feel like you want to be with this person or this person really wants to be with you. But there is some sort of sense where this person went from being super stable and super committed and super um, generous with their time. Because we have the Hierophant here. And we also have the King of Pentacles. So, Capricorn, it looks like to me that the um, whomever you've been dealing with, you know, this could be you as well. So keep that in mind. The energy can absolutely be going by vice versa. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can absolutely be you. Capricorn, I feel like you have somebody that you know you want to be with. You know you want to commit to them. You know you want to marry them. You know you want to have stability with them. And I feel like this person wants it with you too. But I feel like they're a constant disappointment to you and I feel like you two are constantly having to start over and over and over and over because I feel like this person you know they're they they make it seem like they want it all and they give you this um home like wish fulfillment ten of cups happiness water sign energy here cancer Scorpio or Pisces but you know camp um, Capricorn um, a lot of you are married to this person and I feel like this marriage needs to go in a new direction. For others of you Capricorns, you look at this person or they are looking at you as being where they feel um, the emotional fulfillment, where they feel like you are their home and vice versa. You may feel like this person is your home, this person who you want to be with. And it's kind of like there was some sort of disappointment here. I feel like the King of Pentacles here, if this is not you, Capricorn, I feel like this person could have decided to um, turn cold on you for a moment with this King of Swords if you are not dealing with two people because some of you Capricorns are already in a relationship and you have somebody returning back to you. And I feel like they, I feel like whomever's coming here to talk to you, Capricorn, I feel like there's apologies coming. But we have the King of Swords here, so this person may have been very um, closed off towards you, giving you the cold shoulder, not really wanting to talk with you. This may be the muted person. This King of Swords, we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. But it's kind of like Capricorn, if this is not a doubled like relationship here, where you are already with somebody and somebody's returning back to you. I definitely feel like this King of Pentacles is like a little bit all over the place. Like I feel like they have emotion for you. I feel like they have a lot of love for you. But it's like they're constantly causing you s disappointment with this Five of Cups. This person's constantly causing you sadness. This person constantly causing you to feel like all hope is lost. And then I feel like this person comes back around and they're like, hey, I'm sorry. Let's start over. So for my people who are in a relationship or in some sort of separation with their partner that they are committed to, I feel like this disappointment is um, going to subside as we get closer and closer to September. I feel like this person is going to come with an offer to renew this and I'm sorry. Hey, can we be friends or can we restart this? Because this person definitely has love for you, but it's kind of like... I mean, you have the, this person's coming through as the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. These two kings are the ones that are very sure of themselves, and they don't need emotions to get by. They don't even need to acknowledge them. So it's like this person sits in this very non-emotional um, way of being, and it's like at one moment you're like, oh my gosh, they're it, and they... They have all of this ability to offer me and then, then they turn cold and you're like, what? Why am I, why do I feel disappointed now? Like they were just giving me that full 10 of cups emotional fulfillment and now they just left me out to feel sad. 
I definitely feel like there's an apology coming here, Capricorn, whether, um, however you're resonating with, you, with this, you know, Capricorn, you may be the one apologizing to some, apologizing to somebody, or they may be re apologizing to you, but nonetheless, there is an apology here, and that may be why this new direction is coming, and that's may be why whomever is muted is muted. They may be waiting for that apology, waiting for that fresh start. Because, you know, if you did somebody wrong here, not you, Capricorn, but vice versa, you know, and generally speaking, if you do somebody wrong here and then you return like, hey, nothing happened, I mean, that person's going to be on mute. Like, I'm waiting for my apology. I'm waiting for my, my, you know, recognition of like, hey, this is what you did to me. Like, can we move on from this? Or are you just going to act like nothing happened? So, let's clarify this here for my Capricorns. Capricorn, there is that. I feel like you really want to be with this person. I feel like you really want to commit with them. I feel like you really want to um, possibly even marry them. And I feel like this person looks at you as somebody that they can be with forever too. But it's like they're not like 100% sure. Or you, Capricorn, are not 100% sure. Oh, my candle just blew out. Okay. So let's clarify this here for my Capricorns. But it's like they're unsure because they don't want to feel emotions all the time. But they can't help but feel the emotions that they have for you. Spirit for my Capricorns for the second half of August. We have a lot of water energy here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see. For my Capricorns. Okay, Capricorn, clarifying the Hierophant, we have the Ace of Cups, clarifying the Page of Pentacles, I mean, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, clarifying the Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, clarifying the King of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, I, I knew it, I'm like, this person, like, was given it all, and then all of a sudden it was like, nope, gone, interesting, Five of Cups, the Devil, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Okay. So, Capricorn, this person has emotions for you, but I just don't feel like they know how to handle them that way, that well. Um, I feel like with the Hierophant to the Ace of Cups, some of you, this may be, um, like I said, you may already be in a relationship with somebody. You may already be in a commitment with somebody, and somebody's coming around. They have an offer for you, and you know what? Some of you Capricorns are leaving this person out. I feel like some of you Capricorns are making the decision to be like, no, I'm happy where I'm at. I am happy with this King of Pentacles energy. Once again, we have the Ten of Cups. So I do feel as though, Capricorn, if you are in a relationship or whomever you are dealing with that you may be on a little bit of separated energy with or just on the outs right now, this person absolutely looks at you as being their home as well. This person looks at you as being their stability. I feel like this person looks at you as really being reliable to them, stable to them, and it's just like this person is just... It's like something happened here where... They just decided to turn cold, like out of nowhere. And we have the Ten of Cups here to the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like Capricorn, I feel like this person is going to apologize or there's going to be apologies happening because you guys want to keep the peace, keep this home-like energy because you two really feel like home with one another. But it's to the point where I'm really feeling like whomever is... The energy that, you know, Capricorn, because you could have left this person out too. Whoever left somebody out here, they are definitely feeling like they have love for you or vice versa. Capricorn, you have love for this person, but it's kind of like you're just unsure if this will work. You're unsure if this will, if there's hope in this. I feel like it's all in this person's head. It's all in this person's thoughts. This person may have a lot of overthinking and anxiety about this. Um, we have the King of Swords here, the Five of Pentacles. So Capricorn, this person could have absolutely left you out in the cold, um, ghosted you even, this person who's coming back around. Because for some of you, you're not in a relationship. You just look at this person as being somebody who could be your one, being that person that you could possibly even marry. And I feel like this person was giving it all to you. Or has been giving their 100%. And now all of a sudden it's like, where did you go? What are you doing? Why would you just leave me out? 
So I feel like they're returning back. And I feel like Capricorn, there's a decision to be made here. I feel like with the Five of Cups to the Devil, the I feel like you both feel like, like hopeless and helpless. Because it's like, wow, we're so amazing and then we're so horrible. Like, why can't we just stay amazing? So we can actually build with this page of pentacles, you know, like that's that, Hey, let's build together from scratch. Let's renew this. Let's get this going. And it's kind of like this person does this to you Capricorn. And then they just like take the rug right up, right from under you devil energy here, Capricorn energy. So Capricorn, you may be, I feel like I honestly, I'm going to read it as is this can absolutely be going backwards, but I feel like Capricorn, you are the one who has been left out. By somebody that you look at as being your one, your wish fulfillment, your ten of cups, your marriage partner. And I feel like this um, sadness is very codependent with this person. I feel like you feel very bound to this person. You feel very... I feel like it's a bit of an unhealthy attachment to them. But I feel like Spirit just wants you to say, hey, look, there is hope in love. And even if it's not with this person, it is still hopeful in general. But I do feel as though this person's going to be coming back around with an apology. Or, you know, for some of you Capricorns, they may not act like anything happened. Because we have the Page of Cups being clarified by the Knight of Cups. Capricorn, like I said, this person has love for you. Absolutely. This person really has emotions for you. But it's like, are they just... It's like when they feel them too much or like there's some commitment on the table. It's like they it scares them. But we have here the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. This person's going to be coming towards you with another emotional offer. I feel like they're going to want to renew this. Um, some of you Capricorns will take the offer. Some of you won't. But this is definitely wanting to push this relationship in a new direction. Um, I do feel like this person is really... I feel like they're in love with you and they're just like, just not emotionally mature about it. So let's clarify here. I'm going to clarify this last row. Spirit, can you please clarify this last row here for my Capricorns and their love lives? For some of you Capricorns as well, if you are in a relationship and this is a return of somebody, like I said, you're going to be like, no. Thanks, but no thanks. And I feel like you're just going to leave this person's energy out because you are happy with whom you are with. You may actually be in a marriage. For others of you Capricorns, I definitely feel like you're dealing with somebody or there's somebody around you that you look at as being it for you. And it's just, there's just a lot of tension here. There's a lot of like disappointment there's a lot of fear of abandonment with this person as well so capricorn you may fear this person will abandon you which puts it into the reality of them possibly i feel like capricorn you have been abandoned or ghosted or vice versa you have done this to somebody else and they are returning back they want to know why or vice versa you could be wanting to know why this person did this to you i feel like there's gonna be some sort of offer some sort of apologies here as we get closer and closer to september but let me clarify this last row for my Capricorns spirit for my Capricorns in their love lives okay clarifying the king of swords and the five of pentacles we have the hermit yeah someone just closed off on this reading on this reading on this relationship or did this to you in the past Capricorn you're already in a new relationship and now they're like hey can I be in your energy again? And you're kind of like, um, no, not with the way you left me. I've moved on. I found happiness. You can go. Five of Cups, the Devil, the Empress, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Judgment. Okay. So, I definitely feel like Spirit is trying to tell you, Capricorn, like, hey, turn around and remember who you are. Don't let this person's actions or what they do define your value and your worth because it's not worth it. I feel like... For my Capricorns who are in a relationship, and this is your person being very flighty and making you feel abandoned and lonely, 
I feel like this person has apologies. I feel like they will be apologizing to you. For others of you Capricorns who are in a relationship and this is a different person coming back around, I really do feel like this time around you are you know your worth, you know your value, and I feel like you know you may not really embrace this person's energy. You may just be like, look, I'm going to go hermit on you like you went on me. I'm somewhere that is happy and I don't feel like messing that up. For others of you Capricorns, this could be totally vice versa. You may have done this to somebody else and they're coming back around. They want to know why you left them out in the cold, why you ghosted them, why you abandoned them, and they want answers because they look at you as somebody as they, somebody that they can be with. Take what resonates here, Capricorn. We have judgment with the Knight of Cups. This is a divinely guided situation. There is definitely going to be a return of the past like energy here now that judgment is out. We already know that here with return. But Capricorn, man, this is like, it's so contradicting. Like whomever, if this is like, if this is the other person, I feel like it's extremely contradictive what they're doing. It's like they are like giving you this amazing emotional fulfillment. And then it's like, bye. And then they come back around and they're like, hey, sorry, I'm back. Can we build again? And I feel like Capricorns, for some of you, you're going to be like, look, no, and stay muted. But others of you may, you know, have been muted from this person for so long, which causes them to return back judgment for a second chance. Nonetheless, Capricorn, someone's coming back into your energy. You ghosted them or they ghosted you. Somebody's been on mute. They look at you as being their one or you look at them as being their one or you both look at this the same way because we do have the Ten of Cups here twice. But it's kind of like Capricorn, it's your turn to find your value, your worth and understand that this person's actions and whatever they've done to you in the past or vice versa has nothing to do with who you truly are. So Capricorn, be prepared. This person has apologies. This person who just literally decided to, I'm going to leave Capricorn out. I'm going to go hermit mode. And I'm going to be cold towards them. We have Virgo energy with the Hermit. We have um, a lot of Pentacle energy here, which would be towards Virgo Capricorn. A lot of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have the Devil here, Capricorn specifically. So Capricorn, we have also Libra, um, Libra Taurus energy with this Empress. Capricorn, be prepared. You have somebody coming for you. They have offers. I feel like this person is like secretly in love with you. And they just don't know how to handle these feelings. So, thank you for watching, Capricorn. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your month. I'll see you very soon. Bye now.